The federal government's Northern Australia Infrastructure Facility has agreed to loan the Territory Government funds to get the Darwin Harbour Shiplift project off the ground. The move's been welcomed by business, but would add almost $300 million to the debt the government's struggling to service. A $400 million shiplift, which would allow large vessels to be repaired on Darwin Harbour, is one of a few medium-term projects the Northern Territory government has been banking on to kickstart the ailing economy. It's really important infrastructure. Uh, our naval vessels will use it, as well as a range of commercial vessels. The Territory government's committed $100 million from the Darwin port lease for the project. It had also promised to find the remaining $300 million, and so it will be relieved the federal government's Northern Australia Infrastructure Fund has now agreed to a loan, but the funds will have to be paid back. Other electorates in Australia, like the Federal Treasurer's electorate, have hundreds of million dollars of real grant funding for infrastructure. The Territory Government estimates bankrolling the $400 million ship lift has added an extra $287 million to its debt. The Territory's total debt is projected to blow out to $8.3 billion by 2022, and that's equal to its budget for an entire year. Business organisations have welcomed the loan commitment, but say many more projects are going to have to be started rather than just promised if the Territory's economic slump is going to be turned around. Each year we're looking at the same projects rolling over as coming, but haven't been signed off on. Uh, the reality is that we need them like this. We need them signed off, we need money against them. The federal government has been giving hints about the loan approval. I can't promise because, uh, you know, Santa's doesn't necessarily listen to what I have to say. Now it's up to the minister to give the loan its final sign-off. Jane Barden, ABC News.